Hi there, I'm Susie Vidori and I'm here today with the Young Alberta Book Society and Wordsmith with us, sponsored by the Rosé Foundation. And this is a follow-up video to the video that was posted on July 8th, talking about putting feeling into your writing. And some of the things and themes that we talked about um, during that were to put in the emotion, reaction, mood, and setting, and dialogue. And the two things that I wanted to follow up today on are setting and dialogue. I've talked about this before, but I highly recommend during the summer to get outside wherever it is that you are. And this is where I am right now at my cottage. And I love to write here because I can listen to all the sounds. I can hear the lawnmower far away, the birds chirping, the dog barking, all these things, uh, the sand between my toes, and I can add them as my reaction to the setting and make your characters feel something about where they are. But I also wanted to talk about dialogue, because this one's really important, is getting this right. You want your characters to talk the way that real people talk. So I encourage you to listen. And whenever you're somewhere where people are talking, whether that be in your own dining room or whether you're watching a show uh, where people are having a natural conversation, start writing those things down and listen to the way that people talk. And that will help you a lot in making your dialogue seem real. So happy writing. I hope these tips are really helpful and make your characters really come alive and help your readers feel something. Until next time, see you then.